Join me for a look at the new southern coast complex here in Canopy Gardens. Here we'll find two habitats with two new species from the Oceania pack. We'll also look a bit at the Australian area's progress so far and I might need your help to decide the fate of this habitat. More about that later. Canopy Gardens is placed in Australia up in North Queensland somewhere. So the Australian area in this zoo features the native animals. But the two species we are looking at today are not local to the area of the zoo, since they are found in the opposite end of the country. So therefore I called this new addition the Southern Coast. In here we'll find two species well known for their cuteness factor, the quagga and the little penguin. The native ranges does have a bit of an overlap and they are both associated with coastal areas and beaches. Therefore I made a small coast-like complex in the park for these two. And while they don't exactly share a habitat here, they are placed under the same roof. Part of the reason I made a top here is just that I want aviaries in my zoos. And the lack of flying birds in Planet Zoo will not stop me from doing that. But that doesn't mean there is no logic to housing these species like this. Sometimes a roof or fence isn't about keeping stuff in, but about keeping stuff out. Both these species would be vulnerable towards predators like foxes and cats, but also birds of prey and gulls could be problematic. And I've found at least a few examples of little penguin with topped exhibits. It also helps make this whole area more connected, even though it of course would be much better with some flying animals in here. The quaggas got access to the whole area besides from the penguins enclosure, so they can walk out into the guest area if they want to. They do still have a big part here where guests can't enter, so they don't have to feel forced to walk around among people. This also means they can walk all the way up to the underwater viewing area for the penguins, which is quite fun to see. This window is the main view into the penguins area, but you can also walk onto this platform, which gives a better overview over the land part. I had a lot of issues making the penguins dive, which might be due to the tight shape of the pool. So at one point I did a lot of edits to it and completely destroyed it to rebuild it again. Now they do dive most of the time, but they're still very buggy and sometimes just staying completely still in the water. Because of that I ended up not decorating the water area too much, since it seems to mess up the diving even more when I do that. One side of the aviary is built up against this larger building that I made a while ago, which is still left unfinished on the inside. But it of course still features the alligators on the other side. The back wall of the complex is a partly natural stone wall, blending in with the slightly raised terrain behind it, and of course decorated with lots of plants like the rest of the zoo. The other end of the complex is not that interesting from the inside, but on the outside of it we'll find some exhibits for Australian snakes. And while you stand and admire the critters in here, a wallaby might sneak up on you, since I have expanded the wallaby walkthrough, and I have not even decided where to end this enclosure yet, so this part of it is left a bit unfinished. And now that we're out here, we might as well look at the habitat I mentioned in the start of the video. This overgrown area houses a single cassowary, but I'm starting to feel like I might want to to move it to somewhere else. It does get a little lost in here, even though it looks good. The cassowary will for sure stay in the park no matter what, but I was considering putting dingoes in here instead, with some changes to the enclosure of course. I believe they could bring a lot of life into this part. So what do you think? Should the cassowary stay here, or should the bird move and the dingoes move in? Or do you have any better ideas for this area? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation of my newest addition and this little update on the the Australian area of Kenobi Gardens. I was planning on making this a speed build at first, but I had too many complications along the way, so you got to see it like this instead. Hope you want to hang out some more on my channel and make sure to subscribe to not miss out on what I build here the next time. See you!